Hey, Jesse France here. Um, it's been a long time since I've recorded anything and I decided I wanted to get back into it. Um, so we're going to play Not Tonight. I really want to play this entire series, this entire game and make a series on it. Um, it'll be one of the first times I've played like, I guess I did play uh, Doki Doki Literature Club. I was going to say it was the first time I played like a game on the computer. I usually play on my PS4, but I guess I did play a couple of small games. But um, I have actually already played this game uh, twice on my own um, via Switch. Unfortunately, the first time I failed submissions and I restarted it. And then the second time, unfortunately, um, I hit some sort of glitch where I wanted to go back a day because I had messed something up because I was trying to get basically a perfect run. And it just said error occurred and I never... I was never able to get back into that save file again, and I decided instead of starting it again on my Switch and possibly running into that problem again, that I would start um, playing it on my computer, which I've had it downloaded on my computer for literally months, um, probably since last year, because it was like on sale for really cheap at one point, and... Uh, you know, make a series on it, because I want to get back into recording. As you can see, I already did start a game. Um, I was messing around with some of the sound settings. My mic sounded terrible. It probably still doesn't sound great. I did order a new set of headphones. Um, they'll actually be both ears. They're going to be pink and probably pretty big, but I want something that sounded better in general, because I'd like to start playing some, like, maybe Five Nights at Freddy's games or something. But also, maybe the mic will be a little bit better. Bear with me. Um, you know, I'm very fresh new to the whole YouTuber uh, thing and I do plan on streaming again soon. I thought about streaming this game but I think it just takes too much attention. I've already got problems with attention deficit disorder that I didn't need more of it to distract from playing this game because I would definitely fail. So since I've already played this game I actually know exactly how to play it, what to do, how to beat it. Um, so this will be almost like a walkthrough as well as a let's play. Uh, so let's go ahead and we're going to load game, but we're going to start a new game. Um, if you haven't heard of, yeah, if you haven't heard of Not Tonight, it is basically like Papers, Please. Um, except you're playing a bouncer instead of a border patrol officer. Um, so I'm going to play as this character because I've already played as the other two female looking characters. Um just for the you know, fun of it, just so I don't have to look the same thing. Okay, so yes, I am American, so I read it month, day, year. Uh, let's make voice select. That works. And uh, this down here, heritage, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you choose. The story's the same. It doesn't make any difference in the story. I think this is just for you personally to have like an idea of maybe who your character is. Um, I don't, I have never played the character as this. So you were born in Bath to a pair of to a pair of Spanish charity workers, a good child, a quiet child. You helped your parents run a seaside retirement home and became quite the expert on cider. When they died, you were to continue their legacy. Then the letter came. These days, birth no longer confers citizenship. Officially, you two are considered Spanish, except unfortunately in Spain. Now, this game deals with Brexit. I don't know anything about the actual political, you know, specific stuff that actually happened during Brexit. I don't even know. Did Brexit happen? I'm American. I'm sorry. I don't keep up with most of the other, like, countries. Politics. We've got enough for our politics. Not that I don't care. It's just I can't keep up with all of it. Um, if anybody wants to explain to me in the comments, feel free. Uh, but this is probably very much of an over-exaggeration of what happened or what didn't happen. But regardless, um, like I said, it's like papers, please. Ah, the Euro bouncer graces us with their presence. No rush. The New Year's Eve ball is only the most important event of the year. Well, get your things. Choppy chop. No worky, no money. Understood. <laughs> Understood, sir. So, he's a character that you'll get to know real well. While I'm sitting here, I have my puppy at the end of the bed. I am sitting on my bed, but that wasn't obvious um, with the pillows behind me, but this is the best place I have, and I have a nice little table desk now. Uh, okay. Let's go ahead and play. So this is really easy. I think everybody's allowed in. Because so 
saw this. Let's just get the golden ticket. You're old Charlie going to the chocolate factory. Um, yeah, and then I've got the TV on for a little bit of extra lighting. So we can change the shading a little bit. That's, I don't think your computer is bad at me. See, I can't punch you. But this is pretty much you get five people in. Bam. This is kind of like prologue slash epilogue, <laughs> I guess. I don't really know. Because I actually haven't seen the very end of the game. I just know how to beat the game. Alright, it was one year earlier. European Citizens Relocation Block C. Yeah. January 1st, 2018. There's my crappy home. A little crack hole. Letter? Ta da! Look in here. Alright, Britain alone. Person of Euro heritage. Welcome to relocation block B. Your residence request has been rejected. Find and close your transitional residence visa. To maintain transitional residence status, earn 2500 is pound by January 31st. Your designated job designated job is bouncer. Integration officer Jupp will contact you. He will arrange a site visit to help with your orientation and expulsion. Alright. So now we got this. Um, so let's go ahead and turn on our phone. It's a pair phone! <laughs> it's not an Apple phone. It's not an iPhone. What is it? J phone. <laughs> Da, da, da. But anyway, yes, so this is the idea of the game. If you've not seen anything before, very simple graphics, but it's a lot of fun. Alright, news. So let's see what's going on. Um, and if I pronounce anything wrong, again, I'm not British or European, so I apologize. Albion first leader Simon Tavner has hit back at critics of his Britain Alone policy. The simple fact is that in these difficult times, Britain must look after her own. Despite protest, residence requests continue to be rejected, with officials currently targeting persons of European heritage, with fewer than two generations of citizenship, or earning under £30 a year. £30,000 a year. Extraditions begin this month. So, there you go. So that's what's going on. Jup, this is my probation officer, basically. Listen close, fresh meat. Oh, you're talking too fast. I'll be coming by on Thursday to explain a few things. You want to have a, you want to have started a job by then, or this will be a short friendship. Earn your keep. Don't cause trouble. Maybe even let, I'll uh, maybe even let you stay. Maybe. Yeah, you'd kick me out as fast as you can. God, I just noticed there was like a ghost, like looking thing up at the corner there. Ugh. Okay, I was like, I was waiting for mail or somebody to come to the door. Um, news, politics. The post-Brexit rise of Albion First continues to take established politics by storm. Albion First founder and Prime Minister Simon Tavner has proven his ability to unite right-wing elements of conservative and labor support under his flag, ultimately establishing a coalition government under the Britain Alone flag. Despite the social upheaval of the last few weeks, post-Brexit malaise has only increased the level of support for the Tavner agenda. Albion... Albion First hopes the upcoming election will cement this new progressive future. Alright, so let's take our first job and make a whole 10 bucks, basically. Alright, so we're going to be in the King's Head. This is Dave. He's the best character in the game. Mm -hmm. I love him. And he talks like the Swedish chef. You're the new bouncer, yeah? Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. I'm Dave. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. Should be a pretty quiet night. Mm -hmm. Curfew's keeping most of my regulars mm -hmm. at home. Should find things pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Check IDs on the door. Make sure everyone is over 18. Mm -hmm. Got it. Mm -hmm. Let in five customers. You get paid. Mm -hmm. Let in more. You get a bonus. Got it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Good-o. Well, get on with it. 
Um, so you always want to pay attention to the item in each individual club, bar, whatever it may be, that you might be able to get. So right here, I don't, oh, yeah, okay, so interact. Oh, that's some kind of disco dancing medal. Okay, so you want to pay attention to that, um, because after you complete three jobs on your fourth night, or day, or job, or whatever you want to call it, you can take the item, and then the item will be important for another character later on, and each of the clubs have something of this nature. So this night's really easy. Um, it's just checking people's ages. Uh, as he goes along, it makes you check a lot more. Alright. Alright. Any four. Got it. 77. The best thing to do is know that, like, you know, what year it is. So it's 2000. 1983, obviously. That's... You know, you want to look for the date of... It's 2018, but you want to look for the date that's above or below 2000. So anything, as soon as you see the date, the year, you can already know. See, right there. He's under H. Who are you? The bouncer. I pay for this stuff. Alright, 86. This may seem like really easy at the moment. It gets way harder. It only happened to let five people in. I think it's the lowest amount that they may possibly like may have for passing. 86. Let's see if we can get all the way to 20. 78. 97. And again, I played it on Switch a couple times. I'm really good at the controls on that. This is a little different because I'm using a mouse, which in some ways is a little easier. In some ways, it feels like I have to do more because I have to actually go up here and click this. Whereas in um, on the Switch version, you just hit like A, I think. Or whatever. But is. Yeah, it's A. And then B to deny. I do At the first bonus. Last call. Still got a few more in. Boopity boop. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, I can get that chicken bonus. Not worth a lot, but you want to make sure as you play the game, you get as much money as possible. It's really important. And then what's cute? As the club starts filling up. Oh, I didn't even look at the age. I was thinking. My bad. Um, okay, so as the club fills up, um, people up here like will start filling up the windows and stuff, which is really fun. Can't believe I messed up on that, but that's okay. Eight. All right, closing time. I just realized that this night is twenty. 20 hours, 23 hours. Um, usually it's from like 9 to midnight um, in military time. Here's your plate, pay slip. Great start. Honestly, I feel sorry for you, Euro folks. My plumber was a Polish chap. Good bloke, cheap too. You know I'm from. Anyway, another job tomorrow if you're up for it. Look out for it and bouncer. Now scram, okay? Okay. I only made 32. That's wonderful. <laughs> First job is complete. Time for bed. And that's the general idea of the game. Except this was super easy. <laughs> Jump. Hey, hey. Your friendly neighborhood officer here. Start on bouncer yet? Huh? <laughs> getting on the way of getting in the way of regular honest folks. Job you yours were born for, really. I'm coming to visit tomorrow. Tidy up. Yeah, I wish. I wish it let me tidy up. Okay, today's jobs. Just back to the king's head, day number two. Did 
January 3rd, 2018. 360 date, two days into the New Year's Eve ball. Which was that first scene we saw at the beginning. Glad to have you around, friend. Look at us, Brits and Euros, working together in harmony. Makes you want to weep. But I'm... Yeah, real unity. Right, turns out we've got a problem with expired IDs. Keep them peeled. Your eyes, not the IDs. Don't peel the IDs. Oh, and keep watching for the underage. Expired IDs, underage. No problem. Ah, cheer up. Complete three jobs for me. I may even make you head bouncer. It's not just a little... Or not just a title, either. You get double pay and a few special benefits. So, just like everywhere else. I guess, but why would you, why would you want to work anywhere else? Don't answer that. <laughs> Alright. Let's start our day. So, today, we're looking for underage and expired IDs. So, we have to look for anything that has expired before 1-3 of 18. Chase Birdie's song. Uh, okay, you are good. Uh. 90, 20, 21. Like I said, again, or just look at the year. If you see that the year is like the same year that you need to find, then look at the date. I love how they keep on throwing in 2018 and try and catch you up, but since we're in January, it's unlikely. Oh, you are underage, my wow. sir. Or ma'am, or person. <laughs> my good folk. 83, 2019. <laughs> Just makes me think of Jacksepticeye's uh, Chase Birdie ego. Nope, this is expired. Back to you. Go check yourself. Go get your ID. Renewed. It's not that hard. It's any fun. Halfway, keep it going. Alright, 73, October. Eventually you have to start looking at the flags, the hologram, their faces. It gets insane. And whenever it gets to that point, I will probably not be able to say a whole lot of them reading out the things. Good. I don't like having to click that. Maybe as it upgrades, I'll be able to just hit a button. That'd be nice. On my like, keyboard. Because right now I'm only using my mouse. Oop, nope, that's what I want to do. Okay. Alright, Except this old ID. Do you know who I am? Somebody with an old ID. Next. 84, Sometimes have their ID up there, and you have literally no warnings, or you're you're not too close to getting your money subtracted or bailing. I just go ahead and let them in because it's not going to make any difference, um, and you might just get that extra person that you need for that bonus. Great start, Euro. I'm glad I chose you. Well, that you clicked on, clicked on the job advert anyway. Thanks. A few more good jobs, and I'll be looking at my new head doorman. I'm honored. A little bit more money tonight, even though I didn't hit the second house. <laughs> Maine. Is this my life now? I think these are just like, oh yeah. So you got your complete, which I've completed all these, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really matter. Map. Map only shows you like the places you've worked, which I guess is kind of cool. And it's going to show you places you go. But again, it doesn't really matter. And then your letters. And then your calendar, which will show you what days or what um, that you'll be working. Okay. Oh, 
is our best friend. <laughs> Sarcasm. My, what a lovely crap hole you've got. Yeah, I know. You guys put me here. Name's Integration Officer Jeff. But you can call me my lord if you like. It's my job to make sure you froggies and krauts stay nice and legal. Now listen close. This here plate palace ain't free. I wonder why they did ain't with the apostrophe. Hmm. You, I don't know. Uh, you want a nice asbestos, stuff, asbestos stuffed roof over your head? You better start earning. Hand me your transitional residence visa. Come on, hurry up. Should be in your bag. Okay. Here. Ha, one month. And on the deportation list too, I see. Don't worry, you'll be back home in no time. So about a hundred miles. Wait, none of that froggy lip. Now me, I'd have you packing already. But no, our special little flower can't just waltz off with dignity, can we? So fine, you scrounge up the two and a half grand, maybe we let you stay. For now, anyway. Next month, we'll see. Strong and silent type, eh? Good. Hell, if things work out, I may have a job for you myself. Say thank you, Officer Jupp. Thank you. See, Yuru, I think this could be the start of a beautiful relationship. I had more King's Head jobs to bounce on. They always need new meat. I'll be back in a week. Keep working, don't mess up. And remember, we're watching you. We're always watching. Now get to work. Okay. Dave. King said Dave. So can't hire you full time, thanks gig economy, but check your head doorman status on bouncer profile page. Double pay. Yeah, you told me yesterday. Oh yeah, lol. Forget me own head next. Alright, so I have no jobs today. Uh, if I did, it would be right there. <laughs> okay. More news, local news. Uh, tensions between citizens and persons of European origin escalated today when violence erupted outside Citizen Relocation Block 5. Integration Officer Jupp commented, This is where the heart bleeders on the left would start bleeding about tolerance and community. Bollocks. Far as I'm concerned, they can get on the boat with their Euro friends. So, my person's technically from Britain. She's not from Spain, um, as the heritage I chose. That's just where her family is from. So, <laughs> like, where would they send her? She can't go back to Spain because she's not from Spain. I don't know how that would work. It speaks a lot for a lot of, like, people of different heritage or different cultures living in any country that is maybe different from that country. Um, and that being their home, you know, many know America faces those same problems. Unfortunately, um, thankfully, nobody is getting deported, usually. I mean, there is situations, but let's not get into that. No politics. <laughs> but it is a thing to think about. Hey, been thinking about the head doorman role. Hard work and pays like crap. I want to make it worth your while. Hmm. Can give you first dibs on the lost and found. Be that old disco dancing metal from the other night. Sound good? I'm forced to work here anyway. Encouraged. Strongly encouraged. And I basically paid nothing. So better than something, right? And you're offering me a worthless disco dancing metal. See? Knew you was a clever one. Great. Look, I get it. You need cash. Just keep the queue happy. You'll get a mega bonus. Happy? Check the cue camera. You'll see a smiley face if they're doing okay. Keep the cue moving. No one will leave. Oh, and avoid any incidents, obviously. Do all that, and the mega bonus is yours. How mega is mega? Surprisingly underwhelming. Oh yeah, and one more thing. This bloke, Ferris, keeps trying to get in. Keep him away from the punters, okay? Ferris? Yeah, fancies himself king of the club scene. Little prick with a bag of nose candy. I don't want to see him in here. Got it? No excuses. Okay, Dave. My best friend. <laughs> no expired IDs, over 18s only, what 12 in the night. Got it. I do like the background music in this game. It's fun. Almost all of them have like some sort of fun music. Right. Uh, okay, 
Keeping him happy is super easy because um, as long as you keep the line moving, it's not that bad. This place sucks. Well, I can go find somebody else who will take your expired ID. Good. So I gotta get 12 minutes. I'll do that. They'll try to give you money and like bribe you, and you can't take it. But I almost never do. Okay. Hey. Back of the queue. You joking me? It's fairs. Fairs. You can't kick me out. Me and Dave are like this. Yeah. He told me to keep you out. Don't want you here. How about a little something for you? Sorry. You what? This this ain't over, pal. When I call Dave, you're finished. Dave is the one who told me to keep you out because you're a jerk. Alright. Back over to the people. Back over to the people who belong here. Alright, you're good. I'm so glad that they picked, like, they made it in 2018 and so the date is like 2000 because it makes it super easy to be like, oh, you're not over you, you can't be here. never pay attention to what they're saying. They either just say like, okay, yeah, or whatever, or like, sometimes they'll be rude. Because they're like, how oh, dare you ask me for my ID? Do you know who I am? It's like, I don't care. <laughs> Show me your ID, that. You are too young. You're under 18. Who do you think you are? The bouncer. The person who was not letting you come in into the club and get drunk. They show up in the windows the more you fill it up. There's a lot going on in the background. It's kind of fun. I mean, you can't really pay attention to it too much, but you can't look up at it. So it's like, oh, that's cool. Last call. I don't know if I'll get to 30. I'll get to 20, obviously. I do miss the controller. I'm much more of a controller person than being a, uh, click person, a mouse person. Okay, yeah, nope, expired ID, sorry. You need to get a new ID. Don't need this. Me? See, they're like, what? And he was fine. See, I didn't look because I hadn't made any mistakes. So you have to pay attention down here to the, like, if you get four wrong, your wages get docked. If you get eight wrong, and it changes each time, each day, um, depending on how many levels you are in that club, whatever, um, to how many you can mess up. That was great. Thanks. Don't forget to check out my other jobs on Bouncer. Will do. Alright, so jump will visit again next week. I have to earn 25 grand by the 30th. Not 25 grand, 2500. That'd suck if I had to earn 25 grand. I'd never be, beat this game. 
Hey, it's King Head Stape here. Just heard you booted the ferret out on his arse. Good on you. Shouldn't do this, but here's a little bonus for keeping the cops away. Heh, <laughs> you don't tell? I won't. If you saw there while I was talking, um, I am now the head bouncer? The head doorman, yeah, at the king's head. So that means that I get double pay each day. So we'll go ahead and do the, the last day. Um, not last day. It'll be the last day for this video. But um, we'll do the fourth day. And I'll show you what you do with the item. Maybe I don't have a... I guess I don't have any jobs today. Let me check. Just double check. Okay, yeah, so... You'll have, in the beginning, in the first month, you'll have that. Okay. Let's go ahead and accept this job before we enter the door. Now, I don't know if I'm going to name or say her name right, so, yeah. Viklov? Ah, no. New neighbor? Shh. Third in as many months. Hello. Ah, yes, manners. Malorna. Malorna, a flat six. No, no. Do not need to know your name. You last a week here? Maybe I learn your name. You see my Viklov? This tall? Often drunk? Oh, do not have sympathy. What is polite phrase in this language? Bit of a twat. <laughs> Just send home if you see, yes? Not big talker, are we? Welcome to block 13. Get, this, get tetanus jams or tetanus, your choice. Okay, Malarna. Like I said, I have no idea if I'm saying her name right. Alright, we're on January 7th, so this will be the last day. We'll do this one last one. I'll show you what you do here with this item. Let's go talk to Dave Abula. Hey, Yang. Tonight's gonna be busy. All the competition closed for the night? Even better. It's two for one night on all sides. Bogoff? Up yours, too. No, I mean, anyways. A deal like that brings out all the fakers. Fakers? Fake IDs. Watch for them. Black and white flags. No stamp on the ID. Anything like that. Those grifters will stop at nothing to get that sweet, sweet cider. Seems likely. Take a look at the flyer. And all the rest? Underage? Expiring? Of course. This job's not going to get any easier. Great. There is an upside. The more jobs you complete for any venue, well, the harder they get. That's a good thing. Well, it means you get paid more, so there's that. Not paid as little, anyway. <laughs> okay, so we want to interact with this. No idea who dropped that disco medal. Nobody's claimed it yet, anyway. So now it's ours. So now it's in our bag. Alrighty, so now we gotta check for fake IDs on top of all the other things. Anyone's 20 in the night. Okay, I'm barely getting that, but... Okay, let's get ready. ID please? Here. Okay, see? He has no holograms, so we hand it back. This ID has to be fake. Not interested in your way. Night, I can only get two wrong before I start getting docked wages, and I, if I get six, then I fail. I've only failed once, and that was in the very first playthrough I did of it. And I think it was because, oh, sorry, rage. Um, um, I think it was just because I was too distracted. I'm supposed to be checking their faces or not. good point is, is that 25 is all I have to have for the, um, the final bonus, the biggest bonus. 
and anything you get over that, you get a little bit more. Halfway, keep it going. I'm doing good. Pay much attention to their faces. I'm hoping that's not gonna be it. Your ID has been hologram. You think again? No. I get in trouble and then I lose jobs and then I get sent off the freaking country. Sometimes when you get that close to the end and you haven't quite hit your goal yet, it's very nerve-wracking. Next! Alright, there's no point in trying. Okay, so we made it. So as you see, it gets harder. Um, I think this one's actually particularly hard because the longer the game goes, the more stuff you have to check, the less people you need to get in, but mainly because you're denying so many people, so it's so much easier to make a mistake. Uh -huh. All done? Goodo. Here's your pay. Thanks. Uh -huh. Look out for my other jobs, okay? Will do. So, there we go. Ta-da! So since I'm head dormant, I get 180. Woo! And now I went up to level 2. Yay! <laughs> Doing pretty good, pretty good. All right, texter, bouncer, and I'll go back and show you. Bouncer automated message follows. Reach level two. Enjoy rest free clicking. Congratulations. Okay. Um. So, I didn't realize this until much later on in my second playthrough of it, but the bouncer app is oops, eight 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 zero zero eight five. You know the old calculator trick. I thought it was hilarious because I'm a child. Okay, so we have the second clicker now. I don't know if, see, in, in the Switch version of the game, all it does is just change it and makes it look a little less crappy. So I don't know if it makes it any better in this one or not. All right, so we're going to advance today, so it saves. It is not a save feature. Okay, so we're going to call that good for the first episode. It's probably going to be pretty long. Um... I'm not sure, I'll probably try to do something like this, like four to five days per um, video. They'll probably be about a half hour to an hour long each. Um, I'm really excited to get back into this, uh, back into YouTube, and I'm hoping to get back into streaming soon. Whenever I do stream, I do think I'm going to play Subnautica. Um, I have it on my PS4. It was free because of the PlayStation Play From Home thing that they did. So yay! And it's easier for me to stream from that, and uh, I have better games for my PS4. <laughs> but anyway... Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about the game, feel free to leave a comment down uh, down in the comments, and I'll reply and let you know if there's anything you want to know about it. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't, uh, and I appreciate you watching. So thanks. Bye.